Listen, Skyrim is a very big place. So if we are going to travel its roads together, we should have a backup plan in case we are separated. So here, take this horn. And if we ever lose each other in a cave or some dwarven ruins, or if a dragon drops out of the sky and splits us up, blow into it, and this one will follow its sound back to your side. Hopefully it never comes to that, but best to be prepared, yes? If anyone tries to sneak up on us, Khajiit will smell them coming. Or she might not. We will see. Then let us continue. about this place. Makara's fur is standing on end. You're here. Look, I don't know how much time we have left. My brother went down this shaft a few days ago, and I'm worried. I need you to go in after him and bring him back to me alive. It could be dangerous, but if anyone can do it, it's you. Now, are you ready? All right, but please hurry. My name's Cassia. My brother and I came to Skyrim from Cyrodiil with the Imperial Legion. But we took... a break... to explore these ruins. We didn't want to get involved in this stupid war in the first place. We only came here because we were conscripted. But our unit was wiped out by Nords and those Forsworn Savages, and we saw a chance to get away from the fighting altogether. So, we took it. Well, we came here hoping to find something valuable to pay for carriage back to Cyrodiil. Altrius went down the shaft, but he asked me to stay here. Because he made me promise I'd stay here and wait for him no matter what. And I keep my promises. Well, except as far as the Legion is concerned. I was in Markarth looking for help. When I heard people talking about you and all the loot you've been trading with merchants all over Skyrim, I figured you'd be interested in exploring these ruins, so I asked a courier to track you down. And here you are! So you're ready to go now? I knew I could count on you. Now quickly, go! If you are reading this, you stand at the entrance to an ancient dwarven city. No doubt you have never heard of it, for in all my travels and all my study, I have never read of it in any text, save for the inscription here. It reads, Those who seek refuge will find peace here, basking in the sun under the ground. Those who seek gold will find riches beyond imagining, but will pay for this folly with their lives, for there is no return to the world of man. Is it possible there is life down there? Is it possible the dwarves are still alive after all this time? As I stand here on this precipice, war raging all over Tamriel, my mind is made up. Today I take a leap of faith. 
beloved reader, perhaps one day you will join me. Consider this an invitation or a warning. <laughs>